And while we're on the topic of giving away money, this next story is a great opportunity for any QCA students. This spring, the Quad Cities Community Foundation will be giving away more than half a million dollars in scholarships and applications are now open for students of many ages. So joining us here in studio is Steve Gottsend, grant making specialist for the Quad Cities Community Foundation. Thank you so much for being here today. You bet. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to come and talk about these great scholarships. No kidding. I mean, half a million dollars. That's a huge opportunity. Talk to me, this is a wide variety of scholarships too, right? To say the least, and certainly some of them are on the smaller side. We have a few that are coming out at about $500 to $1,000. Uh, we have some that are as much as ten dollars or $11,000 per year. Some of our scholarships are one year, some are renewable. So there's kind of a wide range of opportunities and uh, great opportunities for students to really get plugged in and get some help. Are my numbers right here? Is it more than 70 scholarships available? Uh, yes, indeed. Wow, wow. Are you the person that has to go through and read all of those applications too? <laughs> I am indeed. Thankfully, <laughs> I also have a community, a uh, group of community volunteers who help help me process through that and make some final decisions. But yes, that is a big part of my job. Wow. <laughs> I mean, that's got to be a rewarding, but a really big job as well. And, you know, it's not just for high school seniors. I think myself included, when a lot of people think of scholarships, we go to 17, 18 year olds on their way off to college, mm -hmm. but that's not it, is it? That's right. That's right. Now, certainly we do have some that are limited to that group. Right. But we have lots of others that are open to students of all different ages, all different backgrounds. Uh, and some of our scholarships are need based. Some are more academic based. Some are focused on trade schools. Others are wide open to uh, where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Let's help you make a difference. And so, yeah, it's not just limited to those getting ready to graduate from high school. Hmm. So as you've seen a ton of applications, I wanted to ask if you have any sort of writing tips or things people should keep in mind when they're filling out their own applications. To say the least, uh, the primary thing is make sure you're answering the question. <laughs> Sometimes students are clearly cutting and pasting from other applications and it may not actually fit what that question is asking on that application. Uh, the other thing is, especially if you have a general, our question is actually very general, just tell us something about yourself. You don't need to repeat what I already know. You know, I know your name. I know you where you went to school. I know something about your clubs or your GPA. I even know what you want to major in because that's another question. Tell me something that paints a bigger picture of who you are or what you want to do. Bigger picture about what you're dreaming or the impact that you hope you're going to have. You know, paint a picture of something I'm not otherwise able to see and that's going to tell me more about who you are. Sometimes, I mean, I was thinking of back when I was 17 applying for scholarships. Sometimes you can almost feel like a guilt if you feel like you're applying to too many or you think, oh, I'm just like, they, they're going to see my name so much. Do you in encourage people to try as many as you can? Yes, but actually the way our system works, that's pretty easy. Uh, we use something called a universal application. So instead of filling out 70 different applications, <laughs> You fill out one and it tells you which wow. scholarships you qualify for. And now from that, there might be an additional question or two depending on the needs of that scholarship. But for the most part, we're helping you get down. No one's going to qualify for all of them. So maybe we're helping you get down to the seven, eight, maybe a dozen that you qualify for. And let's focus on those and not mm -hmm. worry about the rest. You're just going to waste your time. And so at that point, yes, I do see names repeated quite frequently. Uh, in some cases, that is absolutely wonderful because especially if you've got a student who is a high need, financial need student, and they're also, man, they got big dreams, big aspirations. Uh, maybe they've got some strong GPA or testing background. What a wonderful opportunity to come along and help. Uh, maybe they're not high need, but again, maybe they just have big aspirations mm -hmm. and they can see and understand the impact that education is going to provide for them as they think about their future. You know, some of our scholarships are zeroed in on certain majors. Mm. And so, you know, what a great opportunity to sit down and understand these future teachers, future doctors, future nurses, wow. uh, future engineers, whatever it might be, and zero in and, and see the impact that they're going to have and know that through our services, and then especially to incorporate the donors or the founders yes. to help them understand your gift in this scholarship is helping make this sort of difference for the student and ultimately for our world. Wow. Yeah. Steve, I cannot thank you enough for coming in today and we hope you guys get tons of applications that you get to read through. Oh, you bet. I'm sure we will. <laughs> for those of you guys at home, we have been chatting with the Quad Cities Community Foundation, which is giving away more than half a million dollars in more than 70 scholarships this spring. This is open to high school seniors, students of any age in trade schools, community colleges or four year institutions as well. Applications are now open. The deadline to apply is February 15th, but early application is encouraged. To learn more or to fill out your own, you can head over to our website, wqad.com, and click on the As Seen on TV tab.